instantly. Ooh. Wow, the hops. <laughs> yeah, they're not kidding when they say double IPA. They're doubling down on those hops. What is this? We got ourselves a little Sierra Nevada hop bullet, double IPA. This is tasty, I've never seen it. I like the label, I like the taste, and I like getting drunk. When you film a lot of beer videos, it's nice to get these variety packs, and I've never seen Hot Bullet as a single beer, so it's nice to get in that. Oh, Lionel's here. Oh, hi. Always right when we start filming. He was quiet the yeah, whole dude. time. He's been silent. He's been nuzzled up against, uh, well, basically my bosom. Yeah, he was up against your bosom, and now very he's- Very quiet, he's, very calm. He's very outspoken. Yeah. Hey, Lionel, what's this? That'll bring him over, maybe? Nope. nope. Cool. So for those of you that like seeing the color of beer, here's the color of the beer. It's very beery. Is that another jar you're drinking out of? Yeah, this used to be a bunch of jelly. <laughs> oh, great pour, you dunce. Uh, you know, take, hey, take it easy on yourself, bud. <laughs> okay. And today, Corey saw these in the frozen food aisle. Perfect pasta, Italian-style beef, toasted bites. Look at that. Now that is truly unique. It's a very Italian looking man there. I feel like. Yeah, they, they really, really, wow. <laughs> they cartooned it up with that dude. Uh, and also, this is one of the first things we've seen where it actually says that they're air fryer friendly. Love that. Uh, which is really cool. So uh, we put these in the air fryer for like eight to 10 minutes on 350-ish, let them fly. And I always wait for the first one to kind of bust open, like just like a Totino's pizza roll. That's how you know it's ready. So uh, we got Sixer sauce, Chef Iron Mike's Vesuvius Italian Sriracha sauce, and the Chicago Pizza Summit hot sauce for, wow. uh, for pizzas and such things. Look so, at that. So yeah, I'm excited to get it. Try this. It's gonna be a real good crunch. Yeah, dude. So here we go. Perfect I'm start pastas. With my, uh, my most decimated one. Yeah. That exploded the most. Toasted bites here. Oh my god, that is so breaded and crispy. Wow, it's like got panko on the outside. Mm. Dude, ravioli is genius. Yeah, and we had toasted ravioli actually. Dan Hunt suggested we do it in mm -hmm. that Right. So now we're just toasted ravioli experts. It's just like a little pregnant breaded chunk of bread Yep. that is just filled with a little uh, meat baby. Yep. That is delicious. The texture's great. Mm. It's gonna go well with sauce because it's, it's kind of dry. Question. Fine, I'll allow it. Are um, pizza rolls technically ravioli? I think actually oh, yeah, a pizza good. roll, yes. <laughs> Watch this guys. Put the sixer sauce right inside. Yeah, dude. Wow, that was easy. That's a good uh, good function of the ravioli. They got a nice little hot sauce pocket. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Oh my god. That's amazing. fantastic. So four raviolis mm -hmm. is 210 calories. That's not too bad. Also, if you bought these and you had people over and you're making a bunch of frozen foods, this would really surprise people. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a fun one to get. And then just be people like, what are these? You go, oh, it's toasted ravioli. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of friends. I don't know if the inside, the meat baby, if you will. Is my favorite part? No, the outside's my the favorite. Bra the breading, right? Well, there's not a, I'll be honest, there's not a lot inside. No, there it. isn't. They fool ya. This looks very it hearty. Looks, look how hearty looks that like looks. Looks like it's filled to the brim with meat. See that? Look at the crisp on that. But there's not a ton in it. Here's exhibit A. Yeah, give them a view inside that empty. Oh, This yeah. one definitely has more than the other one did. All right, it's probably all bunched up, just happens to be. Yeah, I see a lot of real estate in there. Okay, this is a better. Example. You guys see how empty that That's is? Really That's really vulgar. That's a cavern. Gross. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Chef Iron Mike Italian Sriracha sauce. Oh, this yeah. is the best Chef Iron Mike sauce for um, Italian food. Italian food. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, to the brim. Dude, the breading really makes up for the lack of meat in there. I don't, I don't even mind that there's lack of meat. You add a little sauce, you got yourself an appetizer. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That sauce is so good. This is uh, Soothsayer. They're a Chicago company. So good. They make it. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Lionel? Lionel. Dude, here we go. It's my first time drinking. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna try this whole drinking thing. <laughs> just drooled all over you. The amount of shirts that I just have beer splattered all over. All right, well, before we go ahead and thumbs or <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down the Italian style beef toasted bites, let's do a shout out. Ooh. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. We got a website. Woohoo! If you go to your keyboard and you type in number six with cheese.com, it'll take you to our website where people buy stuff to help the show. T shirts, koozies like that one over there, these haphazardly not using, <laughs> stickers. And hot sauce, which is our hot sauce. Yeah, we have our own hot sauce. Here it is. Um, so you can get it. We're going to say two names of people that bought. Um, we're still cruising through the FUP, the First Up program, because so many people buy more than one item. So today, two people that have bought more than one item. Merch channel number one goes to Mr. Mark Sullivan. Love it. Love it. Uh, Mark, awesome dude from Ontario, New York. New York, not. Don't jump the gun, Don't people. Jump the not gun everyone's yet. in Canada. Yeah, that's. 
Um, and Mark got himself uh, three bottles of Sixer sauce. Dude, good move. Yeah, man. You get uh, free shipping when you buy three sauces. Also, if you buy three sauces right now, pretty good chance Chef Iron Mike's gonna throw in another one of his sauces. Ooh. Just saying. Number six cheese on huh? Merch shout out number two goes to Mr. Dave Kirkigen. Dave is a dear friend. I actually had my first, actually, I don't know if we bought him one. Here's a clip of Dave and my buddy Chris having their first Malort <gasps> together in Chicago at uh, Reggie's in the South Loop. Great Ooh. spot. Sit in it. Sit in it. Sit in it. Uh, Dave's a good friend, uh, a good dude. My brother introduced me to him. They all work together. So, Dave, thank you so much for buying uh, a Sixer sauce and a jump cut. That's what's up. Thank That's you the so name much. of a Viking. Dave Kirkigen. I like that. Or he's like, kind of sounds like a water guy. What's the. Uh, like Waterworld? Kirk, Kirk. No, what's the water company? Like with. Um, Kirkland. Kirk. With uh, Kevin Costner? Yep. They live on boats? 100%. That's what I meant. <laughs> Number six of cheese.com. Buy yourself some stuff. Um, yeah. Honestly, it helps the show a lot because. This company ain't paying us any money. All right, so guys, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down. Eric is actually in quarantine in a bubble over there. Yeah. So Eric McCluskey in a bubble, drum roll please. Thanks, bubble boy, you so much bubble boy. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked your joint. You might overall get again, while Lionel's growling, the Italian style beef toasted bites from Perfect Pasta Incorporated. Oh! Yeah, dude, they were great. Very good. I think there's room for improvement. Stuff a little bit more meat up in there. Yeah, just like most of these oh. things, they hollow them out oh too much. God. That breading was tasty, dude. You, you know what I hate when I open up a bag of Lay's? Oh. And there's just so much space in there. Don't even get me started, dude. There's more space in there than was in my first apartment. But you know what? The chip itself isn't. Uh, lacking no. texture. These themselves could have jammed some more Italian style beef Ooh. in these. Daddy would have liked. But these are really good. If you see these, we got them at Jewel Osco, which is kind of like the big grocery store in the city. Mm -hmm. So which means they're probably at your big grocery store. If not, I prayed for you. And if not, I didn't miss out on something great. I didn't mean to lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, we'll see you guys uh, back here Monday for a brand new video throughout all the coronavirus stuff. As of right now, We're new trying. episodes will keep coming We're every trying. single weekday. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, like we've been doing for years and years and years. Um, if you just want to help the show because we haven't missed an upload, there's links below to do that. So, guys, thank you so much. Perfect pasta. I'd work on the kind of the racism of that. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is big. I think for some reason it's become a custom that it's okay to be racist towards Italians. They, I don't know why. Because we're kind of white. Wait till you hear my that vlog I just did. I say some rude stuff about Dwayne and the Italian. <laughs> All right, we still got one Italian coming. So. What's he doing? I fuck cooking spaghetti, dude. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Where's he at? Probably making spaghetti. Oh no! Sure, I'll have a drink. Oh no! That's what Kylie no. said right after that. That's the next line of the vlog. Oh, you're gonna die when you see this. See you Monday. That's literally what she said. Oh, that's sure. I'll have a drink. She, except she said he's a making a meatball.